is the first hair follicle in the world to be cultured in a laboratory. The tiny follicle provides the root from which hair can grow. Biotechnologists in Berlin have managed to create one using human adult stem cells. Their groundbreaking research involves a new process. The difference is that we cultivate the cells in a three-dimensional matrix rather than a two-dimensional one. That means the cells can come into contact with each other and interact. And you can see here that the cells start to come together and form aggregates, small ones at first, that then get larger. These aggregates form the basis for developing an organ, which in our case is a hair follicle. The scientists then added skin cells to the aggregates. With the aid of an optical microscope, we see that the two types of cells have come together. Within a week, they've formed a complete hair follicle with hair. Young men with receding hairlines in particular often seek out a doctor specialized in hair transplants. In the conventional method, healthy hair follicles are taken from the back of the head and grafted into the bald areas piece by piece. Now that may no longer be necessary. Only a few hair follicles would be needed to grow many new ones, which can then be grafted. This new method actually generates new hair, rather than simply redistributing the existing hair. But that won't be the only application for the lab-generated hair follicle. The scientists' main goal was to use the follicle as a substitute for animal experimentation. Many of the substances in creams and ointments that are tested on animals enter the bloodstream not through the skin, but through the hair follicles. Rather than using animals to test new cosmetic products, the Berlin scientists have developed a kind of microchip. Lab-generated hair follicles are placed in chambers inside it, where they're kept alive with nutrients. The scientists then use them to test all kinds of substances. We can use human hair follicles in our microchips to identify toxic substances long before they're tried on animals. If the hair follicle dies, then we know not to even bother testing those creams on animals. It requires great precision to fill the tiny chambers of the microchip with the test substances. The scientists use a special microscope to position the samples exactly where the hair follicles are. If this research proves successful, it could save laboratory animals a lot of unnecessary suffering.